Hey guys, Matt here from Wreck Brewery. I'm going to do another review. Another homebrew review. This is from the Dean's List. It is a perfect porter. And, uh, oh, I know I've showed you guys this before, but I'm going to bring it up and show it again. Look at those wonderful The Dean's List caps. And there's a shot of his bottle. Very, very nice. Let's take a look here. It says, sometimes you just want to make a really nice base recipe with no frills, no distractions, and that's what this is. Uh, looks like the grist was 70% Mare's Otter, 4% Black Patent, 7% uh, Caramel 10, 4.2% Chocolate, and 4% or 7% Flake Oats. Uh, it looks like he put some cacao nibs added to the boil and fermentation. Hops Magnum Bittering, Fuggles for Flavor, and he used London Ale Yeast. Man, you crammed your whole recipe right there on the label. That's awesome. Uh, 39 IBUs and 6.7% ABV. Oh, I forgot to bring in my bottle topper or bottle uh, opener, but fortunately for me, I carry one with me all the time. And it's got a nice little hiss on it. And just rinsed out the dual glass, seemed appropriate for a porter. Let's see what we've got. Pour on that to work up a bit of the head. Looks pretty good. It's got a nice, um, you know, sort of like a, a, a nice light tan, uh, light khaki color head on it. Now you can't see through that. It could pass for a stout. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, I've made plenty of dark beers, but I don't think I've ever used Maris Hotter in one. I've used Maris Hotter in other things, like, um, I'm trying to think, uh, made a couple of English ales, I think, with it. Um, and you know what? No. I have made an English porter with Maris Hotter. I take that back. I just like to compare when, when I see these recipes to try to figure out the, uh, you know, a little bit of differences between maybe something I might have done or something close to what I've done. But yeah, that's got a wonderful aroma to it. You can definitely taste a little bit of that chocolate there. You know, really light on, on some of the roasty malts, which I guess is probably appropriate for a porter. It's not it's not like you know overly roasty like you would get out of a stout. This is definitely more tame than that. But that's a very nice. Um, it's very nice. Uh, let me take another look here. So you were saying, Marisada, black patent, caramel tin, chocolate, flaked oats, and some cacao nibs. Now. So what's interesting is, uh, I'm looking at his hops, I've used these before. I've used Fogos and plenty of things. You, you know, you, you just kind of get a nice middle of the road uh, presence from that, I think. Um, which is appropriate for, for this type of style, I guess, because, you know, you really want the malt to be forward in this. Um, never, I can't say I've ever used the London Ale yeast. Um, Magnum, though, is great because Magnum's nice. What I like about Magnum, um, I think Dean, uh, I think he kind of uh, said the same thing uh, in a conversation with him about the past. But Magnum is nice because it's nice bittering hop. It doesn't really impart too much other type of hops. So it's not going to impart a lot of extra flavors and aromas from it. It's just, just straight out of bittering. Well, let's go ahead and, and quit yapping and go in for the taste. Cheers. Thanks, Mike. Man, <clears throat> by golly, I think you've done it, Mr. Dean. It says a perfect porter, and I think this is a really, really good representation of porter. Um, this is extremely balanced, very, very well balanced. Um, definitely gives it the opportunity for that malt to shine. The, the hops that were used and the way that they were used was definitely a way to you know, balance that out so it wasn't too, it's not too cloying or anything. Um, you know, it's not overly sweet. 
So that, that, that right balance of hops and then the selection of hops that you use is, was brilliant because it just balanced it out perfectly uh, where you, you get the porter style there really shine and you get uh, everything you expect out of that as far as the, uh, uh, the mold build. So nice job, man. Very nice. Yeah. And um, I forget what, what did he say it was here, ABV? Keep looking at the bottom, we should probably have it in front of me. So it's almost 7%. Um, and, uh, you know, that, that hides well too. It's really, really nice. Um, yeah. So, Mike, thank you for sharing. I think this might be the last one from your homebrews. I think I still have some commercial stuff that you sent me to review. Um, but, uh, yeah, very nice. Nice, nice way to end that. Um, look at this, and, you know, I'll probably talk about this more on my Hunger Wednesday, so, um, so we keep this just to the review, but, uh, got the, got the meter on the panel fixed, uh, yesterday, so, um, I'll probably say it again on Hunger Wednesday, but, uh, a thank you to, um, to Cal at Electric Brewing, um, I sent him some pictures and I told him what I was doing, and he said, uh, here, try these things for troubleshooting, I went ahead and did that, and, um, with some help from, from Wally and uh, um, and Gary, actually, um, in, in different ways, I was able to get this to uh, to work properly. Yeah, even in this chilly garage. But uh, anyway, I'll, I'll talk about that more on Hunger Wednesday this week. But uh, thanks again, Mike, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.